Before we get started, let us recap a few things. One, we are building a template page here, as you see. We've done all this work to build this menu. We've put all this information in. And we're building a template page that we're going to use for the other pages that we create for our website. Let's go back to Dreamweaver for a moment. What we're going to be doing next is we're going to be coming back and we'll be naming the file conventions for each one of these buttons that we see here, like the home page, the about me, drawings, etc. We're going to come back and give up a file, create a file name structure that's easy for us to manage throughout our website project. Uh, before we get started, though, I want to make sure you understood that the website page that we're building here is a template that will be used for the other pages. We'll come back to this in a moment. Okay, we're going to take this first uh, pull down here, home, and make sure we put the correct link in this null value right here. And that's pretty simple. That's always going to be the index.html page. I'm going to go ahead and write that in there right now, or type that in. Always lowercase on your file names. Okay, so anytime I roll over this, it's going to go back to the index home page. Now what I'm going to do is right here it says contact. This is where I start making my file convention changes. So to identify that I'm in the home button, I might go ahead and key in home, underscore, contact, dot html. Now this is an external link going to Richard Platt. That's going to be pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is highlight this, and I'm going to key in a hypertext link, richardplatt.net. Okay, so that link's in there. Now we're going to come down here to the About Me page. I'm going to do that as well. So grab this guy right here. I'm going to key in lowercase about me underscore artist that HTML. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy this first section here, speed that up a little bit. Come down here to this one here, highlight that, paste that in, and then I'm going to put delete and put in teacher.html. Come down here to this right here, control V, and I'm going to put industry.html. Copy that there, and I'm going to put interest.html. Copy that as well, and say awards. HTML. So what you see here is when I look at my directory of files that I create for this website, I mean, everything is organized by the pull-down menus we have here. So if I'm looking for, say, teacher right here, I'll know to go look for uh, about me teacher.html. If I'm looking for contact, which would be here, I'd go look for up here the home underscore contact. And they have more files down here and more links down here to other other pages or other websites, but that's how I would do that. Now what you're going to do now is take the same naming convention, like we'll come back here to drawing, we'll highlight this, actually highlight this one right here, and we're going to key in drawings underscore orthos dot html. We don't need to name this top one here, the top buttons. We don't need to name files for those. The null no values will work. So as we come back, like for artists, you know, teacher and all that, that's where we name these files right here. We never change the top ones up here. It's not necessary except for our index.html, as you see right there. Okay, that's good for now. Here are other conventions like Illustrator, illustrations underscore illustrator.html, and so forth. Come back to this in a moment after we've completed that task. Okay, I've gone ahead and come in here and put in all my naming conventions for all of my pull down menu files I'm going to be calling up, our web pages we're calling up from our pull down menus. Now, what's important now is to go back and make sure that we've coded our, our website correctly, this web page uh, menu system. So we'll go over here to Google Chrome and preview that. So it brings up the web page. Now, what you first want to do is just go back at your lower left hand corner of your web page and your status bar, and you can see the links that it's calling up. So I check on the artist. <coughs> it's got about me underscore artist at HTML. Same for teacher, same for industry, and so forth. I actually know there's a couple errors in this, but I wanted to show you the process and how to go through and find it. 
So there we see orthos, that looks correct. And as we pull down here, notice the hashtag at the very end of that, where it looks like we don't have a value in that. So the way to fix that is to go back over here into Dreamweaver. And it's easier when you're in this phase is to go ahead and go into code view. So we'll come up here and we'll find where that problem is. Okay, there's my about me, it looks familiar. Here's drawings. Okay, I didn't name the sketches right here. So we'll go ahead and give that a name. Drawing. Real quickly, uh, one thing I forgot to tell you is make sure that for spacing out files and names and structures like that, you use the underscore. Web servers read that much better. Okay, we'll go back to uh, Google Chrome, check that again, save our change, keep going. We'll come down through this and we'll look over here and see Illustrator. That looks correct. That doesn't look correct on Photoshop. See the hashtag down there by illustrations underscore Photoshop that HTML. We gotta fix that. So we'll go back to Dreamweaver and we'll scroll down. And sure enough, there it is. I forgot to highlight that when I pasted the file in. So we'll take that out and we'll go back and preview it again in Chrome. Okay, save the file. And each time you preview, you notice up here at the top we've got all the different iterations of what we looked at. So now we're back to the new one that we just uh, saved and opened. Come down here to Illustrator and Photoshop. Go back and check all your files and make sure all your links are correct at this time.